I started playing football with other boys in my hometown when I was seven years old, and even then it was clear to me it was my thing. Growing up, I used to follow the fortunes of Andrei Shevchenko. He was a striker who I admired. He had pace, he could dribble, I followed all his games. FC Ural star striker Roman Pavlyuchenko is one of 21st century Russian football's biggest names. The now 34-year-old hails from Mostovsky in southern Russia. He began his career in 1998 at Dinamo Stavropol before moving to Rota Volgograd. But it was with Moscow giant Spartak where he really made a name for himself. I spent six years at Spartak and for that whole time I was the best striker in the team. I won the top goal-scoring award in the Russian Premier League twice. It was a good time for me as I was very successful at doing what I needed to do, which was to score goals. 69 goals in 141 appearances not only brought him personal success and the admiration of the Spartak fans, but it also attracted the attention of English Premier League club Tottenham Hotspur. I think every player dreams of playing in Europe, about playing in England, Spain or Italy. I was very lucky to have that opportunity. It wasn't an easy transfer because I actually declined the offer twice. I was fearful, not for myself or how I would play, but for my family and how they would find it there. I knew the language barrier could be an issue. However, I was convinced later that it would be OK. And if I could turn down playing in the English Premier League, why was I playing football at all? Now that time has passed, I look back and think, why did I think I could reject the move? Tottenham is a great club. <laughs> One of the stories I like telling is about watching Gareth Bale develop. When I joined, he wasn't even part of the main squad. He was very slight, but after 10 or 12 games, he just shot up. Myself and the guys were just looking at him, and we were in shock. He was growing every day as a player, becoming stronger and faster. Nowadays, I would say he is a major part of any team he plays for, both for Wales and for Real Madrid, who are one of the best clubs in the world. I was fortunate enough to play with him. Bale is not just a football player, he is a football machine. Pavlyuchenko spent three and a half years in London before returning to Russia with Lokomotiv Moscow in 2012. He arrived in Yekaterinburg in 2016 via Kubin Krasnodar following three years in the Russian capital. I have the opportunity here to play regularly and to score. As I mentioned before, as a striker, that is my job. FC Ural is a new challenge, one that comes with a new set of emotions. Pavlyuchenko represented his country 51 times over 10 years before retiring from international duty in 2013. Despite never having the opportunity to play at the FIFA World Cup finals, He's one of a handful of Russian players to have played overseas and is well placed to see how the 2018 tournament can help the development of the game in his homeland. Football here still has a long way to go when compared to the game in England. What I saw there was an approach to the sport that encompasses everything, both on and off the pitch. However, I believe we are on the right path. We will host the World Cup in 2018. Stadiums are being built, and there is a drive to develop football at a grassroots level. I think because of this, in five to ten years, we will be developing in the same way as Spain and England. A mainstay of the Russian game for the last 18 years, Roman Pavlyuchenko will always be remembered fondly by fans as he sees out his playing days with FC Ural.